Okay, there we go. Fresh face, freaking all speckled up with powder and foundation and everything. Um, as far as the eyes are concerned, I'm going to take my Pixie Lustrous Eye Primer. This stuff is pretty good. Um, it gives kind of like a golden look on your lids and it's pretty good for primer. It really makes colors pop. I really like it. I just got a test of from ACW, so it wasn't that expensive to try it out. And I'm just going to take a little bit and take my little brush and just dab it in there. And I'm going to dab it all over my lips. All over it. Now I am going to take my white pencil. It's just a white coal liner. And I'm going to line my lid. I really like this because. It really makes colors thick on your lid, and it gives it a nice color too. It makes it really super bright. I'm just gonna line my whole eyelid. Just fill it in on the way to my clear dark container. Really like coloring. I'm flailing it out just a little bit on the corner. I'm pulling it down into the tear duct just to give it a little bit of bright and brighten that corner. Okay, now we have bright white. It's kind of like a canvas, you know? Makeup, I think, honestly, is all about building and building and building on top of each other. Just making sure it doesn't look like a fat on your face. Um, I'm going to take, this is just a color concept palette. I got it for like five bucks. I love shopping during Christmas because they come out with all the little gift palettes. And honestly, with a primer, the colors are awesome and they last just as long. Something more expensive. Take my foot, smudge brush, and I'm going to go into the white that I have. I know you're like, oh, it's so much white, and it's going to be so much pink, but I just like to give it a nice, good base for it. Just right into the white. I'm just going to lay it right over the white liner. Okay, now it's time to start building up on the paint. I'm going to take this white pink right here. With my smudge brush. Pretty bright color. And I'm going to pop it all over this white. All over the lid, over the crease. See, I'm just laying it in the crease, and it's going to be pulled down onto my lid. Pretty much following that line of white that we built. I feel like I should have an afro and be like that painting guy on TV. And now, yeah, we're going to take a little chill. <laughs> Why is this paint going over that way? Okay, so we're pink on both sides with the light pink. Yeah. I'm going to take this is Vivid by Pretty Addiction. I just got it. Super excited to try it. This is just a little sample size. It comes with a lot of colors. I'll have plenty. There's that. Take my shader brush. What is this? 
the smudge brush. It's my favorite. I love it. I'm just going to dip it in there. Honestly, you can use the lid because there's a lot of color here. And I'm going to take this. I'm going to go down and drop all the beautiful colors in there. And I'm going to put this in the corner of my eye and move it out. Corner. Flailing it out. And the crease down there. Pretty much from the corner over to the midline, right there. Okay. You can see the difference. I'm going to blend that in. God, that color is lovely. I freaking love it. See how pretty? And we're going to do this to both sides. Okie dokie. So we have the vivid in the corners of the eyes down to the middle. You can see the line. Um, I'm going to take this is my Profusion Pearl Eyeshadow Palette. I did a review on it if you guys want to look at it. And there's a lovely thing right there that I'm going to pop into with my smudge brush. It's kind of like a bright magenta color. Honestly, Piglet is so much about pink. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to lay it right in my crease over here in this corner. Kind of pop it out, like wing it out right here. So it's going to meet the vivid right there in the crease. I've done the just the magenta going on in the corners. And again I'm gonna go with my profession and there's a really light pinky right here. So I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna use this as a highlighter on my brow bone. Um, right under my eyebrows. Imagine that. Scoop it over. And blend it down. Softens that line. That way, all the building blocks kind of work together. Okay. Do both sides. Okay, so yeah, both sides done pretty much. Um, I'm going to finish up a little bit in the corners on the lower lash line. I want to take some of that dark pinky color that we had in the profession with this one. And I'm going to drag it down just in the corners right here. See, it just kind of pulls the color down a little bit. And I'm going to take my black eyeliner and I'm going to tight line my eyes. It's just a regular black pencil. Um, I usually use something slicker, but I can't find it right now, so I'm stuck with this. So we'll hope that this will work. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to tight line my eyes, you know, on the inside. 
This really makes your lash line look way thicker. So they're all nice and tight lines. See, you can kind of, you're not even putting it on your eyelid really, and it still makes that nice little line on your eye, and it just really makes it pop. And I'm going to do the water line down below just lightly, because I don't want like super dark, uber color. I just want a little bit of definition. And usually, if you line your waterline, your tears kind of do the work for you and work it throughout the line of your eye. And it just turns into like this really just natural line. I always get stuffy when I do my eyeliner. Like that. Okay, so now we're just going to do just a little bit of finish up. Um, I'm going to take my Lash Stiletto Maybelline. It's black. Um, I love this stuff. It really gives your eyelashes a really good look. And I'm just going to do my eyelashes. I have super tiny eyes, so I try to do whatever I can to try to open them up. And really, honestly, mascara is one of the best tricks to get your eyes to look really open and just awake. This is a pretty good, um, it's not waterproof, so I wouldn't suggest for, you know, you're going to wear it to an occasion you're going to cry or anything like that. But if you think you're going to be, you know, pretty decent, um, it lasts long. I don't notice any, like, major smudging from it, and I think the results are pretty good as far as length, and it doesn't clump really bad, so I really like that. Watch, it'll clump because I said something, but, you know, it's doing pretty good. There we go. I got my eyelashes done and I'm going to um, curl them. I like to curl them after I do my eyeliner or my eyeliner. My mascara because it gives it more of a base to kind of pop. It just makes it it's almost like, you know, if you're gonna curl your hair, put a little bit of hairspray on it and it'll hold better. So if you do it with the mascara I find it gives your eyelashes a little bit more to I really need to get a mirror that like sits down so I can do this. Having to hold it is kind of pain and you know. You guys get to sit there and look at it all day. I'm all curled up. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of blush on my face. I don't want to go too pink. I'm going to use my Body Shop uh, Cheap Color. Uh, this is number 5. It's not super pink. It's just kind of like a natural glow. Super pink. Don't. I mean, my eyes are already super pink, so I don't want to say that's my face is super pink. Um, my lips, I am just going to use. Um, if you've never used this before, find it, you'll love it. It's right now they're only available in the UK. It's um, by Soap and Glory. It's called Sexy Mother Pucker. It gives you a really, really nice single to your lips and it does it, it really puckers your lips up nice. Bring my hair down. So this is my piglet inspired look. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you know I want to see your variations of it because I know it's like super bright but honestly Piglet is so bright as far as his color and it's so funny because he's so nervous about everything and you think that he's just so closed in but his colors just pop all over the place and I just really 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 wanted to capture that and I really like the way it turned out at any rate check out the blog check out my Facebook page I love you guys have fun